Well, the Israeli High Court has just ruled that the current arrangement following massive military draft exemptions for the ultra-Orthodox in Israel is both unconstitutional and discriminatory. The major decision made in an 8-to-1 vote will now force more people from religious Jewish communities to enlist in the IDF, and it also allows the Orthodox parties one year to come up with a different, fair alternative. Well, joining us now in the studio to discuss this controversial legislation is Rabbi Dov Halbertal, the former head of the Office of the Chief Rabbi of Israel, and Inbal Oren, the Deputy Director General for Be Free Israel and the Director of Havaya Israeli Life Cycle Ceremonies. All right, well, thank you both so much for joining us. Let's begin with the general question. Why do the Orthodox communities here in Israel have such a problem with the draft, especially since a strong Israeli military is essential for the survival of this country? That's right, but on the other hand, there are two burdens here, very important burdens here in the state. One is the army, very important, very sensitive. On the other hand, to keep the existence of the Jewish nation, tradition. And the ultra-Orthodox knows, is sure, that to keep it, you have to be, you know, out of everything, of every temptation, of every materialistic uh, field or something like this, because if not, you are going in some stage to assimilate. That is... keep, mm -hmm. That keeps the, the, the tradition of the Jewish nation, the DNA of the Jewish nation. Right, but without a that's the, military, that's the you can't even keep the nation uh -huh. So the you, have, you have also military. You have military. You have. Mm -hmm. So the question is, what, what we as ultra-Orthodox ultra have to do in such a situation that you have on one hand the military, on the other hand, you don't have some sect that will keep the tradition very, very strict as 2,000 years ago, 3,000. Well, the question is the answer to exempt these people from the military. I mean, what is your take on this? I think that this is a chance to, I mean, the high court decision is actually a chance to look at the Israeli society and see um, that there is tradition, there is a Jewish state, but it's a democratic state. And everybody should be equal in the eyes of the law. And the fact that the high court says that this um, decision is unconstitutional saying is saying that um, we're actually facing a situation in which Israel has to really address the fact that all of its citizens has to be equal in the eyes of the law. I mean, I, people should not be denied or being giving, given sorry um, rights or are being denied of uh, duties right, well, um, that, because that... of their religion beliefs. It's not a situation that can, be, that can happen in the Jewish state where everybody is Jewish and should be equal in the eyes of the law um, within being Jewish. So the, I guess the question here, how do we deal with this? It's right? not a question of what means equality. You, you need this and you need this. You need both. You need both. Those who are going to the army are not keeping the Jewish DNA. So you need this part, and you need, you need well, this part. Well, I don't know if that's... And, that's and, and a... I, I, I want to tell you one thing. Well, I think that there what are What the people... Supreme Court did is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. They contradict the, the will of the people. The will of the people ref is reflected by the Knesset, by the government. But I think there's something the problematic with what and, you and, said and, there. And when we you... solved the problem. All of a okay, sudden... Okay, but can, can, I, can I say something? Yeah. I think there is something... You said something that somebody, a, a Jew that is going to the military is somehow not keeping their Jewish tradition, and I think that that's a very problematic thing to say, right, for no, many... It's not, right? it's, I do think it's, that... It's a fact. It's not that everybody there is not uh, religious well, in, a some, in, some, in some degree. I'm not saying that everybody is becoming secular. But to keep it and to keep it as we kept our tradition in the diaspora during 2,000 years, and that what, what made us to be here in Israel, the Jewish nation, without this there will be only assimilation. Read my lips. I would like to say that um, the reason that we're here is because we're all Jewish, and the Torah has 70 faces. We, we are here because all of us, as Jewish as we are and as we choose to be, we, can, um, we, we are all a part of the Jewish society, of the Israeli society, and if we're not going to live together and have the same rights and be equal in the eyes of the law, we're not going to be able to have a functioning society. Not to speak about the fact that... Um, the, the army, the, the IDF is actually the, the entrance of, you know, of people of the Haredi uh, society to the Israeli society. The fact that the Haredi uh, society is a very closed society gives, I mean, lets the IDF be their 
connection to the Israeli society, be afterwards a very productive part of the Israeli society. And um, the fact that they're not giving that opportunity and that all of um, military age uh, Haredi um, boys are not even offered to go to the to the uh, to the IDF um, by the arrangement that was um, set in 2015 is wrong because it's not giving Haredi um, boys the the very basic right of being a part of this society they should be given well here's also another question I mean if would the Orthodox community be happy if nobody was going to the army and everybody was focusing just on studying the Torah? No, no, no. Of course, if the whole uh, state of Israel would have been Haredi, you need a Haredi army. But in this period, in this time here, going to the army means ruining the sect of the Haredim. The Haredim, have, have, they have to keep themselves very close very, uh, you know, they, and they are only in the yeshivot. It's not easy to be, to, to live that way of life. It's not easy at all. Don't think that the army is the not easy uh, issue uh, alone. So they have their, uh, that's for you an answer also. We believe we have our very important uh, 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 challenge to do here to, to keep the DNA of the Jewish nation. That means in this time, in this period, they are going to the army and we have to keep ourselves. Otherwise, otherwise we will not exist here and we will not need then the army, of course. I believe that we're not gonna exist if we're gonna discriminate parts of the society. It's not a discrimination. We're not giving, first, they, we're not giving- Two different, two different challenges. We cannot- It's not a discrimination. We cannot see parts of the And if tomorrow the there society, will be peace here in Israel. Let, let, us, let us assume. Don't you think we will be stay the same? We will stay the same, the Haredi, the same close society. It will be the but same. But we're remaining and a what close, will be with you? We are remaining a close society if we're saying that a part of the society has no duties or has the same, uh, or has different rights. We're not, we're, as a society, as such a small and sometimes very, um, we have so many fights inside. We are a society that needs to keep equality as a major value. And also, I would like to say, it is, it is, it is the time, sorry, for the leaders of the Haredi um, society to say that they're taking on their part to really find a solution and a creative solution. And it shouldn't be like, it shouldn't become a fight that is a never ending war between the Haredi and the secular part of, um, part of Israel. Whoa. And I mean, it, it needs to end and the Haredi, um, Society well, has I, its own. So we're running out of time, unfortunately. And I'd love to continue, but I, like you said, you know, the coalition now does have a year uh, to come up with another option. Nothing right? will be changed. Well, we will have to wait and see. Unfortunately, we've run to out do. of time today to continue discussing it. But thank mm -hmm. you both so much for coming in and talking about this issue.